This week on Natural Florida, we'll be uh, taking a look at the bike trail between Gemini Springs and uh, Lake Monroe Park. Uh, it's a nice little boat launch um, right there on the edge of Volusia and Seminole County, on the Volusia County side. Um, and I couldn't do any of this without Liz and Azumi, of course. And we just love this whole, uh, it was just the right time of the year to play in the league, so we, we, we could not do that. So that's my production team right there doing their race thing. This week we are going to be taking out the Clear Creek by Schwinn. It's the uh, perfect bike for these kind of trails, which have a little bit of roots in some of the off-road areas, but uh, mostly it's all cement. Um, it's just enough suspension to handle all that, but yet you got that upright comfort position that you won't get from an off-road bike. Um, Plus the wheels are fat enough to make the ride more comfortable. And I got my little rack on the back, so if I wanted to bring lunch, which I actually did, but not in this shot here. It's one of my favorite bikes because you can detach the front wheel, um, just like if it was one of the fancier ones, fold it up into a car. In my case, I drive a big pickup truck, so it's never a problem. But um, I, I occasionally do drive a car, and um, if I want to go biking, this one or these kind of bikes are really, really helpful. If you're looking for a really good bike that's not $400, I picked this one up for less than $200 at Target. Uh, so this is uh, time for us to get on the road. This is uh, the majority of the trail side. The, the good first two miles from Gemini Springs is going to be like this with your pine trees. Really, really flat really really straight and the closer you get to the park in uh on lake monroe you're gonna see uh, a big environment change which is kind of nice you know you're you, you know you're out there in the sun and you're doing your thing and then all of a sudden bam you hit this cool little forest right around the lakeside and it's um it's mind-blowing it's very zen i say um but you're gonna see it in a minute and you're gonna be like wow that's pretty cool one thing i will tell you about this uh, particular bike trail is there are no water stops but they do a really really good job on keeping uh, the asphalt up to date it's usually very clean it's just today is a really windy day you wouldn't be able to know how windy it is on this video but the leaves are just falling everywhere um, this is in February in Florida we really don't have a fall but <laughs> near the end of winter it's about as close as you can get to, to fall the, the leaves just get turned on because it gets so cold So yeah, we're in the what we call the black hammock. Uh, don't ask me why they call it that. Um, I guess I don't know. I don't even guess. I just make myself sound like a fool. But in Florida, these areas that are really close to these lake sides with these oaks and the different trees and everything, when they kind of meld together, it's kind of like a uh, a slang word for it. But what it is is a really um, really cool place and not cool as in cool cool as in about 10 degrees cooler than the outside temperature in these little areas so on those 110 degree days uh this will be a godsend that's why i always start to trail in the far end up at gemini and come this way because it's kind of like a nice little break um from the heat today unfortunately oh fortunately it's not that hot but it is a really, really overcast day. If you, if you can tell from the video up there, the, the sky is that great and nothing's on fire. It's just really gray outside. Um, but I, that's why I love this camera. I get phenomenal light. I apologize for the shakiness. This is me trying to, to maneuver it. I don't have it on a little uh, stand or anything. I'm holding it by one hand and steering with the other hand. Um, Hopefully, as I bring more of these videos to you guys, I'll find a better way to do this. Um, Liz and Azumi are at, back at Gemini because they have one of the coolest playgrounds. Actually, I think they have like three playgrounds there, but one of the coolest playgrounds in the area. Um, so if you have kids, you'll love it. Also, for Gemini Springs, it's really, really favored by a lot of locals because the dog park there is amazing. They have a nice little trek around there, and it's a really great way to, um, you know, to find your dog other dogs to play with or just you know get it out in the open without having to you know be all tied up and there's a lot of really cool play areas around there tons of squirrels to chase <laughs> um, 
but I love this part of this reel because unlike the first part of this reel, it's really windy and awesome. I'll tell you honestly, it's like two trails in one. If you start from Lake Monroe, you can hit this and you're going to hit a curve every, you know, couple hundred feet. Not even that long. I, 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 honestly, it's about every 50 feet. The curves are amazing though. It's what makes it interesting. Um, you're going to find a lot of families here, but it won't be too crowded. So uh, you won't feel uncomfortable or constantly having to pass people and things like that. Although a bell is helpful if you do want to do a lot of passing. Unless you feel brave and, you know, don't mind screaming at people you don't know. There is one thing I should say. There is, if you like to hike and everything, or if you guys are looking for a really secluded area to have like a little get together there is a ton you see these little benches but there's a ton of park benches all on the side of all these trails and they all come with uh grills and water and everything everything you need to actually kind of like cook out in the middle of the wilderness a little bit you know which is kind of unusual um personally I, I don't know if i would come that far into the woods to do something like that but if i wanted that camping experience i guess it would be a good idea they do have campgrounds, um, not at Gemini Springs, but at Lake Monroe Park. And um, I don't know what the cost or anything like that, but they also have a really amazing boat ramp there. So if you want to get onto the St. John's, it's one of the best places. It's got more parking than almost any place around. Um, there's another park, of course, on the uh, Seminole County side, but the ramp here on the Volusia County side is actually nicer if you ask me. Um, actually, if you didn't ask me, I'd probably still tell you. But as you saw just then, there's a guy walking his dog. You see a lot of that because the dog park is really, 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 really popular uh, at Gemini Springs there. Gemini Springs used to be a really, really big uh, place to go swimming when we were kids. Um, but they closed it down. And, and don't ask me why, because I do not know. And don't let me speculate. Because I will. I'm having some camera problems there. But um, we're getting near the end now. Um, pretty soon you actually see... What I call one of my little wooden roller coasters. It's the beginning of the trail on the Lake Monroe side. Um, it's just really cool double wide boardwalk, uh, which is really bike friendly. Um, normally, when you come down, you're all it's all downhill from here. <laughs> That's why I'm just like speed. I'm coasting. Um, but normally, when you come down here, you'll see water underneath this boardwalk. But it's been really, really dry. It's one of the driest winters on record this year. So you won't actually see any water. I'll tell you something else too, um, and this is something in Florida we have, you know, a bit of a I don't really want to say a problem, but I mean it's not a problem for the guys that are going for that. But it's not a real cruisy park, and if you live in Florida, you know what I mean. You, you won't see a lot of guys just hanging out. So as to say, it's it's kid friendly. So this is my little trail sign and. I guess this is me signing off. Thank you uh, for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to bring you a lot more. And uh, as trails review, I I guess this one a uh, a eight out of ten. Um, awesome trail. Um, there are some real hot spots. I took a few points off for not having any water. <laughs> that's always helpful. Um, but that's about as good as you can get. I mean, there's very few trails around here that actually have water stops. So um, this is definitely a premium trail. Um, so thank you, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you more natural Florida in the future. So, uh, for questions, um, you can email me at sxjohnson at rollins.edu. Oh,